I'm Fox 4's Elise Chingari here in Cape Coral, and today Fox 4 is taking a look at the ordinance that was passed on April 25th for food trucks. You know, this time, dinner time, this business would usually be packed with all of these benches, packed with people, with Millie's Dominican Kitchen, a food truck that once stood right here for two years. But ever since this ordinance on April 25th, well, that truck can no longer park in a particular area for more than 12 hours. That business owner tells us it's really affected business. Now when people drive by and they don't see us here, they're going to say, where did they go? Manuela Guzman, the co-owner of Millie Dominican Kitchen, says they've actually had to purchase a truck to move the food truck, also had to find a storage area. It hasn't been easy. Moving this huge thing, you know, hitching it up, towing it, storing it, and then having to do that process every single day. It's not, I don't know, but you know, it's just my sister and I, and for us, it's, it's a hard task. So I couldn't imagine for someone else. So since this is a topic of discussion for Monday's meeting in the city of Fort Myers, my photographer, Mike and I, well, we are heading to Fort Myers to see just how many food trucks are there and if these businesses will be affected. This food truck's owner here in Fort Myers says if Fort Myers passes an ordinance similar to Cape Corals. We twice as difficult to be honest. Will be really, really hard. Then I got to chase them around and figure out where they're going to be at yeah, today or Maps. tomorrow. Yeah, they're not on Google Maps or anything, so it's going to be hard for me to find them. You know, good food. Fox 4 will keep you updated on what happens next for food trucks here in the city of Fort Myers. In Fort Myers, Elise Chingari, Fox 4.